this is so interesting, Mr. Gallegos. Gallegos? Yes, ma'am. Is ma that how you pronounce your name? Let me see if I understand your claim. In 2011, you took over the lease of someone else and signed a new lease in your name with a person whose name was... Bill. He owns the property. Yes. He owned the property. Is that person related to you? Yes, he is. How? He is my father. You signed a lease for a year. Six months. Did you sign another lease? No. Ever? No. So that you became a month-to-month -month tenant? Correct. And that was sometime either in 2011 or early 2012? Correct. Month-to-month, -month, which means that, I don't know what the statutes are like all over where you live, but if you are a nice tenant, if you're planning on moving, you usually give notice 30 days in advance, correct? Yes, ma'am. And your last name is Schaefer? Yes, it is. You took over running the property in what year? July 1st, 2015. Was when you took over the property? Yes. When did you give Mr. Gallegos a 30-day notice that you wanted him to leave? I filed a notice to quit on Mr. Gallegos on 1-23-2016 to vacate the property by February 29th, 2016. Okay, so she gave you a 30-day notice. Correct. Which is her right just like it's your right to give her a 30-day notice when you decide to move someplace else. Correct. Doesn't that sound fair? Yes, ma'am. Well, then why do you think, Mr. Gallegos, that she's responsible for your moving expenses? I feel... That's what you're suing here for. Yes. Well, explain that to me. You're suing for moving expenses and renovations that you made to the dwelling. Let's deal with moving expenses. Why would you think you're entitled to moving expenses? I feel that Ms. Schaefer saw me doing upgrades on the apartment before she took over and intentionally asked for possession because she knew it was on a month to month. So she She did intentionally. She gave you a notice to quit in 30 days. Nothing could be more intentional. Everybody that lives there has lived there for 15 years or plus. So all of them are long term tenants. I was there four years and um, she's seen me doing the upgrades and once they made marijuana legal in Colorado, all the rents have gone sky high. So I feel she intentionally... She did intentionally tell you to move. Nothing I said to you, nothing could be more intentional. But that's not against the law. She's within her right mm -hmm. to ask you to move. You don't have a lease. If you had a lease and she kicked you out, that's one thing. But you have no lease. You were a month-to-month -month tenant. Correct. What if the property value went down instead of going up and you said, listen... I'm paying $500 a month rent. Everybody else in this whole area is paying $200 a month rent. I only want to pay $200. Wouldn't be fair. Thanks. My parents didn't waste their money. <laughs> now, the next thing that you are claiming, Mr. Gallegos, is that you made renovations to the dwelling that you think that Ms. Schaefer should be responsible for, right? Correct, yes. According to what I read, you had an arrangement with... The prior person who managed the property, who was her father... Correct. ...that if you made renovations... Excuse me a second. <laughs> Listen, if you're a fly lover, don't bother calling me, don't bother writing. <laughs> I don't read those emails. <laughs> 